There was a king who ran a vast land, had massive armies. His people were happy and well cared for, and his men were fiercely loyal. But he also, because he was so well loved, had gained a lot of enemies. His enemies decided to band together, and this time, his, the king and his men were routed. Though they fought many times, every battle they fought, they lost. The king, disheartened, told his men to stand down and fled his kingdom, while a usurper took the throne. His men went off to a valley to heal their wounds, while the king himself in shame left his men and went off into the countryside. Now it seemed the gods themselves were angry at this king because a terrible storm began to brew up. The king, without his armor, was forced to take shelter in an old, dilapidated barn. He sat in the barn feeling sorry for himself. You know, hands between, you know, head between his hands, just wondering where the hell he went wrong. Crawling across his foot and along the ground was this small, black, ordinary spider. It crawled up the beam, barn beam and attached its web. It tried to leap to the next beam and hit the ground. Well, the king didn't make notice at first, <coughs> but the little spider, undaunted, crawled back across his boot, crawled up the barn beam, attached another line, leapt, and hit the ground. Well, the king's a mighty man. He's got his men, his lost kingdom, much to think about. It would behoove him to think of you know, such a tiny creature. But despite himself, he became fascinated. Time and again, this little spider kept trying. Time and again, this little spider hit the ground. It was getting quite obvious this little spider was badly injured. And the king thought to himself, this poor little creature, it's gonna kill itself if it keeps us up. Why not just give up? But, undaunted, the little black spider just crawled back across his boot, crawled back up the barn beam, attached yet another line, but this time, in a very mighty leap for such a tiny spider, it managed to make its way in a leap to the next barn beam where it could attach the next anchor line, and before too long, it had spun a beautiful swirled web. Bravo, little spider. I didn't think you could do it. The king cried. Then he sat down to think again. But every time he tried to think of his men, tried to think of the battles he lost, his mind kept wandering back to that little black spider. And then the king was filled with immense shame. He, a mighty king, with men still at his beck and call, loyal subjects willing to die at his command, he had. The little spider had nothing but itself. Injured, it built its web, while he, a mighty king, had given up. Kneeling before the spider web, his hand to his chest, the king said humbly, Thank you, little spider. Thank you. You are blessed, for you have taught me a lesson that I had forgotten. The next day, when he left the barn, the storm had left. He painted a bright red X on the door so he could find the barn again and went back to his men. This time, his men had rested their wounded healed, and they were angry, not at him, but at the usurper, and they were ready to fight. This time, the king was sneaky. They tried new tactics, new attacks, different ideas. Many times, the king and his men <clears throat> failed, and they lost many battles. But undaunted, they continued. 
their new standard, no longer the charge they once had, but that of a small black spider in a web, much to his people's confusion at the change of their standard. <coughs> they won the war, the usurper hung, but he told the people as he sent them to the old barn to restore it, do not kill any spider within this barn. Capture them, feed them if you must. They must not die. His people were very confused by this point. But at his orders, the barn was beautifully restored. And in a big royal ceremony, every single spider was released back into the barn. And then the king, standing before his new standard, told his people the lesson he had learned that day. And that lesson was, no matter how wounded you are, no matter how much things seem hopeless, never give up. And that is something a mighty king learned from a little black spider in an old gray barn. <laughs>